You see this branch that fell is what I kind of want to try and knock down the rest of the way. And then I need to see where the elderberry is. And I'm going to try and take some elderberry cuttings. So I got the one elderberry over there. And I might cut back some of the crap that's like around the elderberry that I don't want growing up. So. And I don't think... Actually, this might be... Looks like it. I don't know. I'm still going to cut this way back. I can't... I don't know if this is elderberry or not. I don't think it is. Just going to cut it. In case it is. Way back. I'm going to cut this little vine guy that's growing up it. Same for this vine. Hiya! And then I'm gonna come over here. Cut some of these branches. Like this, which I might save for working on my waddle. I'm gonna make a pile here for later. Y'all can still see me. Here is another one of my elderberry markers. So we got one, two, and this one. Hmm, it's wild looking. So we got one there. I think that's one, two, three, four, five down there. There's a couple more. There's a bunch of elderberry trees down here. Pretty cool. Let me move you a little bit closer. So I want to go look with the one down that way. So. Alright guys, so here is some other ones down here. You can guys, you can sort of see the mud and how the spring is up that way. And then it comes down here and flows that way down to the stream that's down here. And I kind of walked it off with these logs and I made a cut. There's a big tree cross here and he cut them. And I diverted the flow for now. I mean, for now it works. So that's what it's like down here when it's not overgrown. And here are the other. Oh gosh, I'm supposed to look at the sky. I'm supposed to look at me. There's my other elderberries right over here. So I'm going to go look around the base and see if I can cut some of the other stuff away that's not elderberry. There's a lot never realized how much like this is just yeah, a branch lovely I'm gonna redo my kids mud kitchen down here see there is um, a whole bunch of like brambly I think it's like marsh rose it's this stuff out it's sticking me I had to like, ow! Better be less of it around the elderberry. So I'm gonna cut some of that right now. Cut it back. Like all these kind of dark brown ones are not what I want growing in here. This is an elderberry. This is an elderberry. This is an elderberry. It's getting pulled down over here. Because all this is not. 
tonight is fine. It's the thorny ow. I don't know what it is. Bramble. It's gonna come back. It'll probably come back better after I've cut it so much. It's so just the nature of these pest plants. You cut them too much and it just makes them that much stronger. I swear. I think a lot of that's elderberry. This is not. Uh, so much, guys, so much. Let me go look up where I need to prune these and clean these. I'm gonna first start and give you like the close-up view of me taking these cuttings. Um, I, I didn't go and read about what I'm supposed to do, but I think it might be better if I take some of the ones here, like you see where that has like some green that's gonna be growing. I think that's where I want it to root from. I think I want it thicker than that though. So I'm trying to decide. This is definitely it, because you can see the bark, how it has these bumps on it. I don't know what they're called. I'll look that up and I'll put that on the screen too. But this is the elderberry. So maybe I'll make a cut on one of these tall ones. It's like over my head. I'm trying to decide what I want to do, y'all. Got this one that's coming here. But he doesn't really have any green coming out on him yet. Kind of want one with a little bit of greenness. Or do I? I don't know, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Let's take a couple of both. How, how about that? I'm going to cut this one right here. I just went inside and cleaned these with, like, Dawn. See, that doesn't look very um, promising. doesn't look very green. I don't like it. I'm not keeping that one. See, this right here does. Where it's growing out that new little piece. And see, what is this? Is this a pest in here? See this little hole? <sighs> you know, I just don't know. Alright. Um, oh, you got this one. Let's see how that one... I don't know. See that in there? I'll hold this one to the side. It's a really long one. It just feels so weak. Alright, one. I kind of want... This is interesting to me. I don't know. That just broke off so easy. It's like these are like dead pieces up here. Like this whole thing is not doing well. Guess what, y'all? I went for the mother branch on that. I have this feeling something is getting in there and eating it. So is there any healthy pieces at the top? See, there's some green there. Maybe I'll take that guy because he has some green growing. Cut that better. Yeah, see that has like the green. All right, this one's going in my pocket. He has, he's coming in with me. I can get him in there. Oh, and here I have some here and here and here. Those two. Let's 
three. See, there's that stuff again. Something burrowing. I don't like it. See, that doesn't look good. But it has green on it. I don't know. I'm going to go and not use that piece. See, like here, did it bend? And then bugs got in there somehow. Let's see how this one looks. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, here's some smaller ones. That has a lot of little. I think this one looks like it'll be good. Mm. All right. So I got. Oh, this many right now. I might take a couple from the other plants that are over there. This one with the bug damage is making me nervous. Oh, it's recording for me again. I didn't even touch it. So I got this many from over there. One, two, three, four, five. I still think like it has little hollows in the center. I don't know. I'm gonna put these in their own thing when I start propagating and then let me get some, let's see. See, like this one here, I like the looks of it. It has two little green coming at the top. I'll put it in the water. We'll see how it does. And let's go cut from that other blue one I have up there. Let's see. It's almost all over, y'all. The big stump here. That will be helpful. All right, I like this one. This has a couple. I'm just gonna take this whole branch. Oh, right here. It has a couple of those little branch off spots. Maybe I put this in my brain. That's how I'm supposed to do it, but you see those little nubs? I don't know if the roots come from there or leaves. That's what I'm gonna go by. All right, so that means I just got one, Two, three, four, five more. See, and these have, these kind of have like a different color. They're like darker. So I don't know what's up with that. I'm gonna do these in some water and those in some water and hopefully they'll root and then we can plant some elderberry trees in the neighbor's yard. I can give them out at the seed swap. Last year I did it with those two up in my yard before I even knew I had all this down here. So let's hope it works. And um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. All right, y'all, so I'm going to put my um, elderberry in water here. And then it's going to go in the window where it's warm and light. And hopefully it'll make me some roots. So this is the batch that I cut. You can see all the bottoms. I don't know, they're not perfect. I hope I did okay. This is the most more woody. I don't know how that one's going to do. But these all look pretty decent. Um, so this is the one that I cut. See, that has a black spot on top from the one that has the bug damage. So I'm hoping they will come to fruition. That would be awesome if they root. I don't know what to expect, guys. I don't know if I should have put these in the water or over the water, but we got them in. So it's the first five from that one. And then this is from the second one, which this bark has a little bit different coloring to it, but it still has little nubbies. So, and here's the bottoms of these. These are all like a little bit smaller in diameter. They all look pretty fresh and good. And they all have like a little green nub at the top. And this one even has one down lower, which I like because I think it, that being in water will also might root there. So here's my two. They're going to go in the window. I'll show you where. Here's one of my propagation shelves. 
I got my yarrow and all like peppers and things all coming and my sweet potatoes, which I don't know how those are turning out, but there's a nice little spot right there for my elderberry cuttings. Here you go, babies. I would love for you to grow. Keep them in water for a few weeks. And then I'll put root hormone on them and put them in a pot with dirt. And hopefully I'll be able to give them to my friends and neighbors. Guys, birdie and bogey.